Hi, Xavier. Ah, you know that I love power splines. Mm. So yeah, I just bought another high voltage power supply for my lab. <laughs> this is a 3000 volts, 5 milliamps uh, variable power supply. It's in fairly good condition, uh, but it was sold as not working, so I just picked it up for uh, you know 50 euros on eBay, and uh, they said that uh, it turned on, but the voltage was stuck at uh, at uh, six hundred volts, and the you know the the voltage dial here was not responding, so yeah. I really don't know what's the problem here and I hope I'm gonna be able to repair this thing. I just received this thing so I don't really know what's inside. It's uh, very similar to another power supply that I bought. Uh, I made a video on that. Uh, that was a uh, 40 volts 5 amps um, adjustable power supply. And um, this is fairly similar, actually it's the same size and brand, so I think they are actually using the exact same uh, case. So on the front panel we have, uh, it's very basic, it's uh, the main switch, the high voltage switch, the light here, that uh, is the main light I think you know, your uh, little meter here, a huge, huge dial here, this will be a 10 turn knob on the back, uh, then you have the two uh, uh, output options I think, and this is a uh, say 5 voltage BNC. On the back, the usual stuff, your voltage selection here, your uh, mains uh, plug, Fuse, fuse holder that appears to be broken. A little brain here, it's a solid leak. Alright. Alright, so let's actually remove the cover. Alright, that's, that's very interesting. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So this thing is really fascinating. There is a tube inside. Huge cap here for high voltage I think. Another one right there. Big transformer as I expected. Another one. We have a huge bank of, of uh, resistors here. I think those are divider resistors, uh, some caps, and here we have the control board. Pretty old school construction, some uh, quite a lot of um, uh, NPN and PNP transistors right here. Yeah, they are actually using the tube as the regulation. All right, so I may just have found the actual problem. Uh, so now it seems that uh, it's actually turning, but uh, yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes not. But I see other problems like this awful capacitor is actually leaking and losing uh, stuff right here, and this, this crap. Every single cap is just it's gone bad, really. So. Yeah. So here's the tube or a valve uh, as you want. Um, so it's a 8068 um, pentode made by General Electric uh, for Hewlett Packard. So I think this is a military grade um, vacuum tube. It's um, quite uh, quite a nice looking tube. I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful. It's actually fairly big compared to other, you know, um, you know, standard tubes. Like I mean, this is a uh, UY85 by Philips. It's a rectifier tube. This is a Philips uh, milliwatt uh, 
vacuum tube here and uh, as you can see the, the size comparison is just I mean it's just huge and uh, just for comparison I have a a uh, this is actually a fairly interesting it's a 6 uh, SL7 it's uh, from a uh, military uh, receiver and uh, it's the uh, same size of a 6L6 Oops. And those little connectors on the back are just so great. I mean, uh, those are for the polarity change. There is no switch in here. You have to manually go here with those, uh, you know, uh, banana plugs and uh, short uh, this way. Uh, so you insert those little uh, shorting tabs this way to have a uh, the negative to ground. So you will have a uh, positive output on the front and uh, but if you do something like this so like that um, you're gonna get a uh, alright here we go a uh, positive to ground so a negative output um, so it's, uh, it's a little bit dangerous because <laughs> you know um, uh, this thing is just um, directly from the output. I mean, uh, what is the pin? All right, this thing, th this pin here is the output, and this is, I think, yeah, the high voltage from the uh, actual main capacitor. So yeah, if you go around when this thing is on, and if you touch one of those, eh, you're gonna end up having a very very bad day. Alright, so I cleaned it up and connected to my isolation transformer. So let's actually turn it on and uh, see if it works. I reconnected the potentiometer so now it actually turns. Alright, a little um, Lights come on, which is uh, promising. Set to zero volts. Turn on the high voltage. All right. But indeed, it actually regulates. We are seven hundred, one thousand, six hundred volts minimum. Alright, hope you can see it, but uh, just standing here, it's a minus 6 volts, let's turn on the high voltage, and indeed, it's uh, 630 volts minimum, but it actually goes up, so indeed, it actually works, but the minimum, it's uh, wrong. So it should be zero, and this thing is uh, set to zero actually. Um, so I don't really know what's, uh, what's going on here. All right, so the story is that uh, I I tried to power it up, and uh, fortunately I didn't film it, but um, it actually worked for a while. The output voltage uh, was um, actually went up just fine, and um, uh, I, I I managed to get uh, 3,000 volts output just fine. I plugged uh, a uh, a resistor uh, to to actually check uh, if there was any current, and uh, indeed uh, it was actually outputting the uh, the current just fine. And he handled, you know, five milliamps just fine. Then suddenly, I heard a, uh, you know, a an arc inside. Something went badly wrong, and uh, 
yeah, the magic smoke uh, escaped. Now it doesn't output anything, and so I took the board out, and I found that uh, almost all the, the uh, transistors were completely toasted. I mean, there are four, one, two, three, four, five, six transistors that went bad. And uh, I also found this little guy. I'm just starting to check, and I also replaced those two. Uh, but i um, starting to check the diodes here. Let me show you. <laughs> so this diode, for example, this is a 1N, what is it? Uh, 298B it's a Zener diode so this should be uh, now um, uh, not conducting I'm actually getting that short yeah nothing on this side and on the other it's is the same so it's uh, it's pretty well dead so this is gonna go I'm gonna check the others and we have another one completely dead and another one bites the dust look at that and another one dead wow Jeez. this little guy here is the actual reference it's a 1N942A with uh, gold pins apparently <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's a reference that uh, actually provides 11.7 nominal voltages. So here we go, I checked uh, the whole board and I only, uh, only, uh, you know, I, I have written all the, uh, um, all the components they have to replace. Uh, so we have uh, four diodes in total. Uh, one zener and uh, three rectifiers and we have what are they six NPN no four NPN transistors and two PNP transistors for this whole board um, so gonna order uh, the replacements and, uh, and come back later and I'm also th thinking to uh, replace uh, those three caps those are uh, the high voltage caps for the uh, voltage divider that goes to the board for the regulation actually uh, alright so yeah I'm gonna gonna make a follow-up uh, soon but uh, for now uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and you'll see you next time bye